Welcome to the Bloomfield Youth Assistance Outstanding Youth Citizen Awards Ceremony. We are so happy to be here this evening to honor the outstanding citizens in our community. I'm Deborah Colin, and this is Natalie Finnerty, and we are the co-chairs of Bloomfield Youth Assistance. Our ceremony this evening will follow this order, as is in your programs as well. Our ceremony is also, we'd like to start the evening by welcoming Kendall Schultz, a 10th grader here at Bloomfield Hills High School who will perform the national anthem. Please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the Thank you, Kendall, that was beautiful. Some of you may know who we are, and some of you may not have heard of Bloomfield Youth Assistance until this award opportunity. Let us take a few minutes to tell you about Bloomfield Youth Assistance. BYA is part of the larger Oakland County Youth Assistance Organization, which is sponsored by the Oakland County Circuit Court Family Division. Oakland County Youth Assistance was founded in 1953 to strengthen youth and families and reduce the incidence of delinquency, neglect, and abuse through community involvement. We have 26 youth assistance programs in Oakland County. We are a nonprofit organization. We're funded through grants, personal donations, and a partnership with Oakland County, Bloomfield Township, the City of Bloomfield Hills, and Bloomfield Hills Schools. Bloomfield Youth Assistance provides casework services for youth and families designed to circumvent issues before they cause long-term impact. We offer enrichment scholarships to low-income families within our area and partner with local resources to offer educational and mental health related programs. Youth Assistance also offers adult student mentoring and recognizes outstanding citizens. Tonight we have the privilege to recognize and celebrate 17 students and three adults for their outstanding community contributions. The committee that makes this possible are all volunteers and are also outstanding citizens. I'm pleased to work with them and want to thank them for their dedication and many hours of discussions and behind the scenes work. Please help me thank our BYA recognition committee. <laughs> We also want to say hello and send healing wishes to our dear friend Amy German, who experienced a terrible accident recently. Amy is a longtime supporter of youth in our community, and she's been on the BYA board for many years. She's a retired Bloomfield Hills school teacher and is beloved by her students, coworkers, and all of us. Amy, we miss you, your quips, your baking, and we hope to see you soon. Each year, Bloomfield Youth Assistance honors youths and adults who serve as role models by exhibiting positive behavior and who serve their community. These exceptional citizens reassure us all that our future is in good hands. The categories for recognition are volunteer service to an individual organization or to the community, personal acts of leadership and or heroism, self-improvement through personal and or academic achievement, remarkable perseverance through hardship or tragedy, initiation of a new program or project to help others. Students, when you are called up to the stage, please come up to the side to my right and stand at the designated spot. We will also call up the students who will be honored next. Please stand at the stairs. 
Nominators, please come to the stage with your nominee and then proceed to the podium. At the conclusion of each speaker's remarks, nominees, please pick up your folder, which contains your award, and then proceed back to your seat by exiting the stage to my left. We are fortunate to have most nominators here this evening to help present the awards. If a nominator is not able to be with us tonight, a BYA member will read the nominator's remarks. And now, our high school honorees. Kayla Adadapo and Julia Hansen, please come to the stage. Brian Fitzgerald, please come to the stairs. I'd like to say that we are so proud of Kayla. Um, we're from Bowers Academy, and we love having her there. She joined us as a junior due to being behind on credits and not coming, being able to come to school regularly. Her goals were to increase her academic performance and attendance, recover credits, and strengthen her relationships with others. Kayla has gone way, way above and beyond that. Um, she has formed strong relations with staff and students, attends school on a regular basis, and is going to graduate in June, and we cannot be more proud of her hard work. She is described by your teachers as the type of person who understands the importance of learning and makes sure not to let outside distractions get in her way. She has shown commitment to self-growth in both herself and others. We as a staff cannot be more proud of how far Kayla has come, with the best part being that she is confident and proud of herself. Following graduation, Kayla plans to attend college. She's been accepted to at least Eastern Michigan University, Oakland University, among others, but has not decided as of yet. She is very, very resilient, and we know that she's gonna excel wherever she lands. Thank you, Kayla, it's been great. Michael Dillon, please come to the stairs. Brian Fitzgerald, please come to the stage. Hello, my name is Brian Fitzgerald, and I've been Christine Baldi's high school counselor for the past three years. My recommendation for this award is in the area of volunteer service to an individual organization and her community. Last summer, summer 2022, Christine Baldi joined as a researcher in the Center for Health Disparities, Innovations and Studies at Eastern Michigan University. She provided aid and awareness for underprivileged communities, namely low-income Asian American families. Alongside her team and mentors, she worked in the nutrition field where she centered her research on food allergies to increase awareness for the general public and to provide training and materials for culinary preparation and handling. This culminated in a research presentation at an ACTIVE, which stands for Asian Communities Towards Innovative Visionary Environment Coalition. At the beginning of this school year, Christine rounded off her research by partnering with the Hamtramck Friendship House Food Pantry and the Association of Chinese Americans to help provide specific items that are undersupplied in these food pantries. Christine is also a member of the Southeast Michigan Youth Advisory Committee the Asian Student Alliance, and has done community service with Brilliant Detroit. Congratulations, Christine. Michael, please come on up. Alex Dorf and Vicki Crenshaw, please come to the stairs. Michael Dillon was sponsored by Bloomfield Hills High School Associate Principal Jessica Lapone, who couldn't be here tonight. Michael worked with Micah Six Community, a local Pontiac nonprofit community center and neighborhood garden, creating a spice drive. Michael Dillon used his personal cooking initiative, Michael D's Eats, as a fundraising platform. He worked to raise donations to procure over 500 spices to create 100 spice packages. These spice packages were added to their free holiday meal baskets. Because food and spice prices have risen, so have levels of food insecurity. Creating this initiative alleviated 100 families from the pressures of food insecurity and made their holiday season less stressful. 
to provide sustenance behind the spice packages, Michael D's Eats created recipes tailored to their community's wants and needs. Michael worked in their neighborhood garden for inspiration and to ensure that all of the recipes included ingredients that were fresh, healthy, and accessible. He spent multiple hours creating and executing recipes, shopping, and purchasing spices at local stores. Great job, Michael. If we could have Ruby Jaworski and Ava Gutterson please come to the stairs. Alec is currently a junior at Bloomfield Hills High School who works incredibly hard in school and has had to deal with life experiences that no child should ever have to endure. As a freshman in high school during the pandemic, Alec suffered the tragic and untimely loss of his mother to cancer. While managing his own emotions and grief, Alec served as his mother's caregiver, all the while trying to navigate virtual high school and helping to care for his younger brother. Needless to say, he went through a lot. As a tribute to his late mother, Lisa, with the support of his father, family, and other professionals, Elk took this loss and has created a program to help high school-age students cope with the loss of a parent. Hence, the Lisa Project was born. Alec is working hard to make sure no child has to go through what he went through alone. The LisaProject.net offers both individual and group Zoom sessions to teens looking for someone who will listen and empathize with their tragic experience and need someone to talk to. Alec is currently looking to grow the Lisa Project and expand his outreach to other area communities. Alec is one of the most determined and positive people I know. In recognition of Alec and his commitment to helping others, he was recently acknowledged at the Oakland County State of the County address and was invited to speak at Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. next month, where he will present the Lisa Project to Congress. This is an incredible accomplishment, and Alec is a true inspiration to others. Congratulations, Alec. While I didn't know your mother, I know she'd be so proud. Ruby and Ava, please come up. Salma Caffrey, please come to the stairs. Um, I nominated Ruby because she went through a horrible time in fall of 2022 when her house caught on fire and burned down and her family had to live in a hotel for a few months. Um, during the fire, she had to rescue two of her cats. Um, even though that happened, it did not make her lose anything or make her give up. She would come to school early, do all her homework, pass tests, and help others. Each week, she continued her school activities, going to History Club and Model UN. She has amazing grades and is always optimistic. She's friendly to everyone and always tries to be there for people. Um, she hates fights and is friends with nearly everyone in our grade. She would spend around two hours a day at school activities and then spend up to four hours at church volunteering in any way that she could. And um, Ruby always wants to give back to the community and to help anyone who needs it. And I'm just so proud of her. Cameron Klein, please come to the stairs. Selma was nominated by Rania Shabib, who was not able to be here tonight, but shares. Selma select, selected Muslim Foster Care Association for her community action project in eighth grade and was able to raise over $1,300 for the organization. She continues to support the organization by completing her independent project in high school on the topic of foster care. This time, she became more creative in collecting donations by creating goodie bags, using her own money and selling them for profit at the high school. She brought true professionalism and genuinely cares about delivering excellent quality work. One of the most important missions of her project was bringing advocacy and awareness to the cause. 
She continues to advocate for foster children at any opportunity she can through school and through the community. She does all this while carrying a high GPA, holding positions in many organizations, and giving back to her community through soup kitchen, kitchens and counseling youth groups. She is a UNICEF member and a member of the Congress of Future Medical Leaders, as well as a science summer counselor for the last three years. We are proud to recognize someone who is motivated and positively engaged in her community. Congratulations. Cameron, please come up. Raina Nandler, please come to the stairs. Crystal Liberty, student leadership teacher at Bloomfield Hills High School, nominated Cameron Klein, and she says, Cameron is an outstanding young man and a natural leader. Cameron is determined to advocate and motivate those around him and create awareness for peers on the importance of becoming involved. Cameron has demonstrated that he wants to leave his mark serving as an active leader to provide a voice for the student body through his daily class contributions, organization, leadership, and written documentation. He also advocates for equity, inclusion, and involvement in the school community to promote a positive school culture. For the past three school years, Cameron has been one of the key leaders of the Bring Your Own Dog event. This is organized by a student group that spreads awareness and advocates for animals. The students host events where they have invited a variety of vendors and raised money for Happy Paws Haven Company and the Detroit Animal Rescue. Cameron has worked hard to collaborate with local businesses and organizations to obtain sponsorships to make this an outstanding event and experience. I am honored to have had the opportunity and pleasure to work with Cameron as a member of student leadership. Congratulations, Cameron. Hi, Raina. Alex Parker and Melanie Brooks, please come to the stairs. Unfortunately, Raina's nominator, Deborah Tordarski with Corewell Health Beaumont cannot be here tonight. She sent this about Raina. It gives me great pleasure to nominate Raina, who is receiving a well-deserved service award. Raina is a remarkable high schooler who has shown a deep commitment to volunteerism and community service. She has spent a significant portion of her free time of working with children, using her artistic talents to make a positive impact on those around her. During the pandemic, Raina created greeting cards to bring joy to those feeling isolated. Since then, she has continued to make cards for various organizations. She's volunteered as a summer counselor for over 200 hours and helped with a backpack drive for underprivileged children. Recently, Raina went above and beyond by creating a galaxy painting with planets and constellations for the Proton Radiation Cancer Center at Beaumont Hospital. When children complete their radiation therapy, they place their handprints on the painting as a symbol of their journey's completion. Raina also made individual paintings for the children to take home, commemorating their treatment's end. Raina's hard work, passion, and resilience have made a positive impact on her community and the children she works with. She is an outstanding role model who deserves recognition for her contributions to the community. Raina, congratulations on your service award and thank you for all that you do to make the world a better place. Paul, you're ready, and Cindy Cohen, please come to the stairs. Good evening. I am proud to recognize Alex Parker for a BYA award. I have known Alex as his counselor for the past four years. Like most students, Alex was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, and virtual school was challenging. However, the greatest challenge would be the recent loss of his father after a five-year battle with ALS. His dad required 24-hour care for the last two years of his life. Alex remarkably stepped up to help his dad, who couldn't leave the house. Alex's dad couldn't cheer him on at his soccer games or attend school events. However, his family always rallied around him and supported him, all while making sure his dad was being taken care of. I am most proud of Alex's sense of humanity. 
Whether it was taking care of his ill father or even supporting a friend who someone else was making fun of, Alex always tries to do what is right, even if it's not always the popular choice. Alex makes school a more caring and accepting environment due to his huge heart and compassion for others. Alex has demonstrated that he can succeed in life despite this heartbreaking loss of his father at a young age. He has been accepted to several colleges and will attend Loyola University of Chicago. Talia, please come up. Katie, Riley, and Sophia, please come to the stairs. Hi, my name is Cindy Cohen, and I'm the Global Program Director of Kids Kicking Cancer's Hero Circle, and I'm joined by Sensei Peter Davenport, who is our Senior Martial Arts Therapist, and we're thrilled to be here today, Talia. Talia first contacted Kids Kicking Cancer as a middle school student. She had her black belt in martial arts, and she wanted to help. She's continued volunteering for us for the last five plus years, assisting in martial arts classes each week. Talia also organizes fundraisers at her martial arts school, including a kickathon, raising more money than any other school in the country for our program. Once in high school, Talia spearheaded a project here with her National Honor Society group, raising money to buy new toys and books for our kids. This past year, she raised over $1,000 with her group's efforts. Talia volunteers for every holiday party, event, summer program, camp activity, all of them. During COVID, when our programs went virtual, Talia continued to help online with classes for our youngest kids from three to five years of old. We work with a sensitive population experiencing illness, and Talia is sensitive to our families and empathetic to their needs. I found out that Talia received this award while at a Kids Kicking Cancer family retreat. Talia, of course, was with us, having driven up that Saturday to help. I was proud to announce her award to our families that day at lunch. How wonderful for Talia to be surrounded by those that she's helped, and they were thrilled to celebrate her. It was my honor to recommend Talia for this award. She's the embodiment of a Bloomfield youth making a difference, and we are thrilled to honor her tonight. Lily Beck and Rob Dureka, please come to the stairs. This group of students were nominated by Bloomfield Hills High School Associate Principal Jessica Lapone. She shared, Katie, Sophia, and Riley proactively connected with Bloomfield Hills Middle School staff advocating for something that they believed in, free and accessible period products for our students. In their communication, they asked important questions about funding, short and long-term options, and education. They were involved in several conversations to discuss their ideas and find district partners who could help them realize their goal. They met with administration from Bloomfield Hills Middle School and Central Office, our district RN, communications, and physical plant services, all in an effort to create a sustainable program for our students. Their advocacy will positively impact countless of middle and high school students. Katie, Sophia, and Riley are selfless students who saw the need for something and knew that this could benefit many students for years to come. All of these girls have the compassion and drive to be successful in all aspects of their lives. They are constantly in search of better ways to better themselves and their community. Katie, Sophia, and Riley have gone above and beyond for the Bloomfield Hills community. Congratulations. And now we will recognize our winners from the middle school age group. We are honored to have a previous BYA Outstanding Citizen Award winner, Rob Duraka, to present Lily Beck with her award this evening. Lily and Rob, please come up. Sam Bell and Amy Carden, please come to the stairs. 
Lily Beck is truly a remarkable young lady. Just over 14 years ago, she was born a micro preemie, weighing less than a pound and a half. She has been a fighter from day one. She brings her sense of humor and kindness to all she encounters uh, at West Hills. Uh, she's overcome many obstacles, showing perseverance, grit, and determination. Whether taking an active role in our school's sixth or eighth grade leadership club, attending overnight camp for the first time last summer, or welcoming additional last minute roles in this year's eighth grade play, Lily exudes a growth mindset as she is continuously striving for improvement. We at West Hills have witnessed the growth she's shown from entering the school as a fourth grader to the independent near high schooler she's become. When considering nominating Lily for this recognition, staff members enthusiastic, enthusiastically supported the idea. Staff provided immediate feedback about the quiet, sensitive leader Lily is each day at our school. Lily is a quality, compassionate friend who always strives to make those around her happy. It has been an honor and privilege watching Lily blossom over the past five school years, and we at West Hills wish her continued success in high school and in life. Congratulations, Lily. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Zara Mirzad, Diara Nasiri, and Rena Saeed, please come to the stairs. When Sam Bell burst onto the scene at Bowers Farm in 2016, he was an adorable five-year-old taking the Love a Pony class with Blanche Wickey. He never looked back. Over the next seven years, Sam's love for animals, agriculture, and service have grown exponentially. And Sam has grown into a tireless volunteer, a respected 4-H leader, and a regular fixture at Bowers Farm. But it's not just the fact that Sam far surpasses the required volunteer hours of 4-H club membership service, it's the way in which he serves. Sam upholds a high standard of excellence, is thorough and compassionate in his animal care and the care of Bowers Farm in general. Sam will often be the one who shows up for animal deliveries, even at five in the morning. He's the one who mentors younger 4-H club members and is always ready to lend a hand when asked or when he notices something just needs to be done. He consistently does the big and the little things. Sam truly inspires us with his enthusiasm and love for Bowers Farm. In the 4-H pledge, one of the, H is, one of the H's stands for hands to larger service. I can't think of a person that embodies this more than Sam Bell. He makes Bowers Farm a better place every single day, and he motivates everyone around him to do better and be better too. Congrats, Sam. Zara, Diar, and Rena, please come up. I'm in Zara, please come to the stairs. Zahra came to the, U to the United States from Afghanistan as a refugee in 2021. The family fled Afghanistan for their safety and to enable their children to have a better future. Zahra comes from a large family. She has eight siblings, and as the sixth child, she didn't get lost in the shovel, but instead made her mark in school and at home. Zahra is always open to new things. She is constantly helping others in school and at home, even when she needs help. She also stays active playing sports. She's playing softball now, and she played soccer and swam. Hello. Zahra is always polite, a great friend, and a born leader. As a new student in an unfamiliar environment and country with culture differences and new languages to learn, she didn't sit on the corner and watch. And instead, she tries to be part of the school community by making friends and participating in school activities. She is fun, loving person and shows a good jokes. She is on top of her school work and she gets great grades. She is like a big sister to two other students from Afghanistan. She takes on the older sister role by always helping them and make sure they are doing the right thing. She also helped the new student in the ELD room. Thank you. Thank you. 
that I was so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about the mistake. Bloomfield Hills Middle School counselor Lara Kessner nominated Iman is very sorry she couldn't be here tonight. She shares, Iman Zara is a sixth grader at Bloomfield Hills School Middle, Middle School and is the Muslim Student Alliance co-founder and co-leader. She has dedicated a lot of time and effort to creating a club that provides many opportunities for the club members. During the club, students get to play games, do services action projects, create new friendships, and share ideas and experiences. Furthermore, Iman has organized potlucks, parties, and field trips for the members to enjoy. She has also created a website for the MSA that showcases all the wonderful opportunities the club has to offer. In addition to all of this, Iman has helped establish a prayer room for students to go to during the school day. Outside of the MSA, Iman worked with others to crochet different squares to create blankets and scarves for the homeless. Iman, your hard work has got not gone unnoticed, and you are very deserving of this recognition. Congratulations. We are very fortunate to have so many caring people in our community. Tonight, we have the privilege of honoring three outstanding people who are invaluable to Bloomfield. First, we will honor Dr. Dima Al-Gamal. Dima and Neely Anwar, please come to the stage. Good evening. Dr. Dima Al-Gamal has been a pioneer in implementing and adopting highly effective diversity and inclusion practices in our district. She has volunteered countless hours to help establish the district's world religion program. She took this program, which was offered to a select few, and turned it into a thriving initiative that makes a difference in every seventh grader's life across the district each year. Dima established the district's Muslim Parent Association, helped set the framework for, and plan the first district-wide multicultural committee and participated in many other in initiatives. Dima also previously served on the Bloomfield Youth Assistance Board and is a vital part of the community and in the school district. She's a fierce leader and continues to bring improvement in the community and in the school district. I am so proud to honor Dima with this award. Dima. Congratulations, Dima. Next, we call Debbie Gettler and Patsy Bugajusti to please come to the stage. Debbie Gettler is a very active parent in the Bloomfield Hill School District. As her oldest played high school sports, she found areas that could be improved. She listened to other parents that had similar experience. One standout quality about Debbie is that she just didn't ignore the issues and keep talking about them. She did something about it. She had a vision to improve the athletic community. She worked with the community leaders and ultimately decided on creating an organization dedicated to her cause. Debbie founded the Bloomfield Hills Athletic Community, also referred to as BHAC, and this organization is now a main part of athletics here at Bloomfield. BHAC focuses on four pillars that are all close to Debbie's heart. Outreach, college recruitment for high school students, recognition of current and past athletes, and booster club support. She created community nights for most high school sports, which engage our middle school students and get them excited about playing for their high school. She recruited a BHAC PTO rep at every elementary and middle school in the district to help and improve middle school athletics and keep kids in the district. This also helps um, with the connection between high school athletes and our younger students, helps forge bonds. She coordinated a college recruitment night for high school athletes that is still available on the district webpage to always support those wanting to continue their sport at the next level. Without Debbie, none of this would be possible. Debbie has made a lasting impact on our community. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Debbie. Nina Stecco and Meg Spence, please come up. Nina is very sorry that she can't be here tonight. Um, but Nina Stecco started finding items in her home that she no longer needed, and she found the Buy Nothing Facebook group in late 2021 and began giving those items away. This led Nina to creating a free store for Ukrainian refugees. Nina knew of an initiative to collect items for a shipping container that another volunteer was sending to Ukraine with baby items and medical supplies. Nina requested these items from the Buy Nothing Facebook group in Bloomfield Hills. She received quite a lot of items, but the shipping container filled up so fast and she had an amazing number of leftovers. So Nina then decided to do something even more significant. She continued asking for donations, expanding the items list to include household items and clothing for adults, and started giving them away everywhere she could to local refugees. When her dining room could no longer hold the incredible amounts of donations, she was able to find a classroom at a Catholic school to hold them for her, which she now calls the Free Store for Ukrainian Refugees. Several families are regulars there now, finding solace in the generosity of the families from Bloomfield Hills and neighboring towns. Congratulations and thank you for creating this for our, uh, the folks who have moved here from Ukraine. Congratulations, Nina. Thank you very much for all of our nominators who spoke with us, uh, spoke about their wonderful award winners tonight. We also want to take a few moments to thank our sponsors, Bloomfield Hills Schools, Bloomfield Township, and the City of Bloomfield Hills, who donate in-kind services and supplies to Bloomfield Youth Assistance. Also, the Oakland County Circuit Court Family Division for their guidance and support and for providing our wonderful caseworker, Lisa Shields. And thank you to Nikki Keller from Oakland County Youth Assistance for joining us this evening. We also want to send a big thank you to our local supporters, our Bloomfield Youth Assistance board members, all who are volunteers and are passionate about supporting our youth, the Oakland County Board of Commissioners, Bloomfield Township Police Department, Bloomfield Township Fire Department, the Bloomfield Hills Schools Board of Education, the Bloomfield Hills High School and their PTO who helped sponsor, sponsor tonight's reception, the Eagles for Children Foundation, along with Pine Lake, Forest Lake, and Oakland Hills Country Clubs for the generous grants we've received to support youth with enrichment classes and activities. The Bloomfield Hills Schools Foundation. We'd like to thank Vicki Chandler, Scott Cleveland, and Megan Johnston for their assistance in tonight's ceremony. And thank you to the generous PTOC, school PTOs, and community members who have donated funds to Bloomfield Youth Assistance. A big thank you to our nominators and sponsors. We couldn't have made this night happen without your insight and input. And we thank everyone for being with us this evening. We are fortunate to have both our Bloomfield Township Police Department and our Bloomfield Township Fire Department award a generous scholarship every year. Please welcome Chief James Gallagher, Community Relations Officer Nick Soli, and School Resource Officer Kelly McGraw, who will award their Police Benevolent Association scholarships. Please come to the stage. The Bloomfield Township Police Benevolent Association had a very difficult decision to make. Each of these candidates showed dedication and commitment. However, today, the decision was made for Raina, can you come up? <laughs> Raina's dedication showed for the volunteering of several youth organizations. The most amazing thing, reading over her her synopsis was using her talent as an artist to the children who had completed the radiation treatment and making them superstars. She created an individual 
artists of the star for each um, patient that she, that she had. Therefore, beha on behalf of the Bloomfield Township Benevolent Association, we would like to award Awarna, uh, sorry, Raina with the scholarship. Also, on behalf of the Bloomfield Township uh, Police Benevolent Association, Chief Gallagher, and the entire, entire police department, uh, our continued support for the uh, Bloomfield Youth Assistance, uh, we'd like to show them our, our support with uh, another uh, nice donation to them so they can keep their good mission going and uh, keep the students of the future up and about. So, <laughs> thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you, thank you, so, you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we're honored to introduce Lieutenant Ed Leitz and Firefighter Parademic, Paramedic excuse me, Chris Hull uh, from Bloomfield Township Fire Department Charities. Please come to the stage. Good evening. It's always an honor and a pleasure to come here and, and hear the great stories of the accomplishments these young adults and students are, are achieving each year. Uh, I think this is my 10th year coming here, and every year uh, I'm overwhelmed at uh, the accomplishments and, and the abilities you have developed in such a young age. Um, I think it's exciting to watch this, and I think it's more exciting to find out how you do in your future. So on behalf of the Bloomfield Township Fire Department Charities, um, I'd like to ask Talia to come on up here. There she is. As we heard earlier, Talia has done an amazing job with something that's near and dear to the fire department charity's heart, and that's um, kids with cancer. So congratulations to all your efforts that you have accomplished and what you've done to help young kids with cancer. So it's my honor and privilege, privilege to uh, provide you with this $1,000 scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you to our award winners for your inspired influence and community contributions, and to everyone who has joined us here this, for this very special evening. As you may have seen, each award winner has a poster in the main commons. Please remember to take it home with you on your way out. Congratulations again to all our outstanding citizens, and have a wonderful night.